Hey guys, it's the Fisher Brad. I'm David Drow. And today we're at the Rifle River. Today I'll be showing you guys a new method of fishing, and that is using ice fishing jigs tipped with wax worms for steelhead. We'll be using a float fishing setup. So as normal, I got my Raven float bobbers. I got the tubing above and below. I got one split shot above my barrel swivel. I got my one barrel swivel right there, and I got a bunch of smaller weights going right down the line with split shot all the way to my jig. For baiting these little jigs, you can either put one or two wax worms on, but the main thing is you wanna make sure the hook tip is covered. Right here, I'm using my rod I got from Anderson's Pro Bait, the Riversider rod, and I got my Carbon X Pissafun fishing reel. For the line on my reel today, I'm using 10 pound XL Trilene line. It's a monofilament line. And I'm using the same leader line he has, which is that Omniflex 8-pound. Here I'm going to be using my spin casting combo I got from Walmart for about $20. I'm going to be using spawn sacks that I tied up myself that I use just borax to cure. The leader line that I use, it's called Omniflex. It's from Walmart. I think it's literally $2 for, I think, 700 yards. Around about a 5-foot leader here with a swivel. This one had been broke off, so it's shorter, but normally I run the swivel up higher, about five foot with a bobber stop. Fish, 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 I'm gonna get down there if you wanna just toss me the net again. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? I don't want it to get crossed with my feet. Ah. I can't see it. That's a gorgeous fish. That's a big one there. Ah! Good job, bud. That wasn't my rod tip, was it? I don't know what it was. It made a snap. That's a gorgeous fish, guys. Well, that's a big one, too. We're going to measure this guy out. Oh, yeah, he's... I think he's the last one I'll keep. Definitely a nice one, guys. Nice, solid steelhead. Might be deeper over here. All you're gonna do is pull for him. Honestly, we had like something to throw at that tiny piece of ice, so we just had to break it off for a second. Oh yeah, it's still on. 
There it is. I just seen it. Oh, 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 oh. Is it a brown trout? It looks like it. Woo! I wish I would have had that camera stand out. I know I should, normally I always put it out, but I was like, eh. Oh well. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Woo! All right, I'm gonna get down there right away. Can you throw me down the net? Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it comes, here it goes, here it goes, here it goes. I can't tell what it is yet. I think it's a steelhead. Woo! That's my sound. Woo! Alrighty guys, this is fish number two. It's a gorgeous brown trout caught on that same jig with a wax worm. I'm gonna get a nice close-up for you guys right here. Look at that gorgeous fish. Sweet. Nice one. Right. I think. Yeah, it could be way worse. It could be snowing like yesterday. Yeah. And that would be terrible. It would be windy yesterday, too. Oh, fish, 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 fish. That's a big one, I think. Yeah, it could be way worse. <laughs> it could be snowing like yesterday. <laughs> and that would be terrible. Oh, fish, 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 fish! That's a big one, I think. Oh yeah, it's another steel. You wanna throw me the net down there? Oh, it's running. It is running, guys. I think this one's bigger. No, nope, maybe not. <sighs> okay. Now I think you're tired out enough. Here we go, 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 here we go. Woo! Well worth bigger. jumping in the water for. I think that one's bigger. You think this one's what? I think that one's bigger. I don't know. I'm not the same size. Yeah, I think this one's about the same size. Alright guys. Another gorgeous fish. Fish, fish, fish! Woo!
Here we go, first fish of 2020 is on the line, guys. Woo! Try to go this way, back up here. Yep. Looks like a beautiful steelhead, guys. These are stairs. Oh. <laughs> yep. Oh no. No, 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 no. Go away. Go away. Go away. How deep is it? Is it like. Okay. He's running now. Come down here. Oh, nope, he's not wanting to, to go down that way. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, how deep is that? Can I step over there? now I hope it's not gone do you think it's gone is that standable can I stand it I'll jump in there right now I'll, I'll be finally getting wet there it's gone I guarantee you it's gone. Man, I don't feel it anymore. Oh man, it's so cold. I really hope I still have this fish. I, I am. I think it's off. This fish will be worth it, if not... Oh, oh, I still got it! I still got it! I still got it! Okay. Woo, guys! I still got this fish! First fish of 2020 is still hooked. And my, I am literally all the way freezing right now, guys, trying to push in this fish. I do not have waders on. Oh, God, here we go. All right, I'm just gonna have to keep pushing my way out. Okay, at least this will be an eventful video. this fish on guys I really do not oh oh no oh no oh no here we go 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 I gotta get out there real quick come on fat butt I don't even care guys I'm breaking through this ice right now Woo! hey look guys I got open water This thing better taste some really good. Woo! I am freezing, guys. First fish of 2020 is gonna be a steelhead.
One last thing, guys, I'd like to talk to you guys about is one of my waterproof bags that a company sent me. I'm going to leave their name in the description below. You can find them on Instagram to order from. But it works great for keeping all my camera gear nice and dry. And the best part of it is it doesn't smell up my car. I can use the bag and put all my fish in. And then makes it super easy to carry out to your car. As you guys can tell, we had a blast today on the Rifle River. We caught tons and tons of fish. It was a blast. He actually took maybe three or four fish to finally get his first one. So he was having a rough start. But other than trying to get the first fish into, breaking that ice, getting my butt all wet, it was well worth the trip. So I'd like to say a big thanks to David for taking me out today and showing me a new method of fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys.